ready then. All right, everybody, welcome to Black Diamond Wrestling's Grave Consequences. Right here tonight, we're going to see a Buried Alive match. I'm excited about that. One man's career is going to end tonight. Will it be Sean Resnick or Dan Sandwich? I want to point out the flag. I want to point out the fact we just have the American anthem, and then we have American trash. Oh, America's got that have trash somewhere. <laughs> How does that work? And, and Seriously. It looks like Looks like that trash is coming to the ring right now. American American Trash is the new tag team of Chris Stark and Derek Direction. Uh, both of these men have been rivals in the past, but it looks like uh, they became better friends. Uh, they train together. They're here uh, to make a name for themselves at Black Diamond Wrestling as a tag team. And they have a big opportunity tonight having a match to be the number one contenders for the tag team championship. Yep. They're going up against an established tag team here in Black Diamond Wrestling. They're going up against ProFlex, but they do have longtime manager BC Steel on their side. BC Steel is known throughout this area mm -hmm. as being one of the top managers. If anybody has a good mind for this business that can lead them to the championship, it's BC Steel. Well, I'm not going to deny that, but American Trash has, uh, they don't have what ProFlex have. And you already know what it is. My favorite, Spice Ginger. You got to oh. believe, listen. That can make a difference. Calm down, Warren. I'm calm. I'm calm. Uh, I'm just saying. If, oh, there she is. If there she is. Yes. If you start to move out of this chair, Warren, I'm going to have to put you down. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, ProFlex won their first tag team title at the Royal 8 yep. uh, just a few months back and then lost those titles at uh, Unfinished Business to the Fantastic Ones. We sure are not called the Fantastic Ones anymore. Well, they, they the, still are, but there aren't. I, I don't. I don't really. They are get no it. longer they're Fantastic. The they're the Agents of Chaos. Get it right. Listen, they've been beating out a lot of people. Don't think they won't beat you down. Might be right about that. I, I got into some words with Edric the last time he was here. Edric Everhart likes me. Out, yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> there we go. Well, clearly, the crowd tonight. Is behind ProFlex. Without a doubt. Okay, we got sportsmanship here. So who's going to start the match? Let's get to that. Well, uh, maybe American okay, Trash Trash good. good sports here. Oh, uh, they're not trash at all. Look at that. So, I did that. Showing. Oh, come on. Oh, that's the oldest trick in the book. Never turn your back. Well, it, it looks like starting off, now. we have Chris Stark taking on Andrew Palace. And going for the pin right away. Not quite enough to get the pin on ProFlex. I mean, it's still very early in this contest. Oh, yeah. Not going to get a three. I mean, these are former tag team champions. Right. And I, I think American team. Trash needs to take ProFlex very seriously. Like I said, they're an established tag team, former tag team champions, as you mentioned. And, you know, they're, they're starting fresh from the bottom again. They, they right. want to get that tag team title shot, which the Knight Riders yeah. currently have. They're going to have that title shot tonight. Oh, yeah. Chris Stark. Oh, brutal ah. headbutt there. The headbutt is, 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 I never understood the, the uh, logic behind that move. It hurts you too. Look at that. Well, you know, some men just have harder heads than others. That's true. It's, it's based on your genetics. Well, Palace countered that one. Not quite let it go. Oh, oh wow. A suplex from Andrew Palace. Wow. Doesn't go for the tag here, but instead, continuing the assault. On Chris Stark. Keeping on the onslaught. Oh, oh! There you go. A great clothesline from Andrew Palace. Andrew, pa Andrew Palace is, is in control right now. I don't know if I'd say either team is in control yet. Well, Seems like some back and forth. But okay. 
Chris Stark opting to tag in the very fresh Derek Direction. The last time we saw these guys in the Diamond Plex was the 11th anniversary show when they had a match against each other. Yeah. But now, I mean, these guys know each other very well. They trained together with Ricky Shane Page up in the Cleveland area. Uh, you, he, he just mentioned it. Derek there you Direction go. Mentioning it. Derek Direction really has the size advantage. Oh, definitely. I'm a father now, but chest flexor is uh, definitely faster. I, I would agree with you, but Derek Direction apparently wants us to know he's stronger. Yes. A little cocky. He's a little cocky, but I dig it. I dig it. Hey, being a little cocky is not necessarily a bad thing, but it could cost you a match, too. Yeah, but you could use it to your advantage. Both these men. That direction keeping the momentum he's, here. He, he has the strength advantage. And he's displaying that strength right now. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's flexing. They don't call him flex for nothing, right? That's, that's right, Warren. <laughs> Gets him in the kitchen sink there. Oh, oh. a nice gut buster. That could be it. I haven't seen a gut buster in a while. Not many men can pull it off, but yeah. Chess Flexer can. Yeah. Going for the Irish whip here. Direction oh, wow. stops it, though. Just with a punch to the face. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, wow. Was that a jawbreaker? That was a nice modified jawbreaker. All right. There. A little unconventional way of doing yeah. it, but we don't see that too, that too much yeah. around here. Well, American Trash in control early on. You know, maybe BC Steel's been teaching these guys a few things. Uh-oh. Oh, well, there's a blind tag there. Andrew Palace is legal. Watch your back. Oh. And, and that's that's the experience factor of a team like ProFlex. ProFlex has been teaming here for a few years now. And they know each other like the back of their hand. Wow, a chop block in the uh, a neck snap. Some nice tandem offense there. And I'm pretty sure this is more than five seconds, ref. I think they're going for this. No, the double rush oh. right there. Taking their direction down. That might be it. That was like three or four uh, tag team maneuvers. I, I, they were very close. They, they had to be very close to getting disqualified I'm there. I'm pretty sure that was more than five. I'm surprised they didn't. That, well. You know, they, they were going close to the vest there. It, yeah. That might not be a risk you want to take. Oh, uh, no. In a number one contendership match. Oh, no. Well, Andrew Palace is still fighting back here against Direction. Yeah, I don't think uh, Palace is going to win a slug match against Derek Direction. Uh, I, I would agree with you there. And these fans are really behind Pro oh. Flex. Brutal double suplex from American Trash. That could be all. Not quite enough to keep down Andrew Palace, though. Now, you talk about BC Steel. You haven't really mentioned Ginger at all. I mean, what about her? Hey, talk about her credentials. You know what? G Ginger gives these guys a lot of motivation at ringside. She's led a team to the Tag Team Championship. There you go. I mean, she, she definitely well, she's qualified to be out there with them. And let's not forget, she's hot. There's that. Well, you're right about that. There you I go. I'm always right. Stark keeping control of this contest. What they're doing now is they're cutting the ring off to make sure that Andrew Palace doesn't go for that tag. Yeah, it's, it's classic tag team wrestling one on one. That's what it's, you do. It's smart, smart tag team wrestling. Oh, it's got a. Uh, they want to keep oh Andrew boy. Palace hurting. This doesn't look good. Down. Oh, modified curb stomp. By both men, that could that could be it. That might have been a not. Wow. I, th I think that cover was a little lax right yeah. there. Yeah. Right? Had he hooked the leg, he might have got a three count there. Yeah. A perfectly good uh, curb stomp you usually don't get up from. Definitely not. If it's done correctly. You really hurt someone like that. Well, Derek Direction has him Ooh. in that chin lock there. Also, also has a knee in the spine. Letting him get a little bit of leverage. Yeah. This crowd and wheeling clearly behind ProFlex. Oh, ooh. got him by the hair there. Well, he shouldn't have long hair in the first place. He, you can't tie that up or something? Yeah. 
Come on. You can't punish an individual for having long hair. Yeah, but you should. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What a brutal clothesline there. That might be. Yeah, both knees to the chest followed by a clothesline. That was, that was very close right there. I thought we were going to see the new number one contenders there. Yeah. I mean, if, if American Trash wins this match, they're they're easily making a name for themselves here in Black Diamond. Oh, they are made if they win this match, without a doubt. I mean, Pro Flex, on their way to the tag team titles, they beat teams like the Fantastic Ones, like the System Elite. Formerly known as the Fantastic Ones and System Elite. Right, the, yes. <laughs> now the Black Hand Society. There you go. But they defeated those men. That's true. And those two were the top teams for the longest time before the System Elite split up. They're actually the System Elite are highly regarded as one of the top teams in Black Diamond Wrestling history. Oh yeah, and I, I would agree with that. So the fact that Pro Flex beat them on their way to getting the tag team titles, that's that's a big deal. That says a lot. Also, uh, Andrew Palace was a former contender for the Black Diamond Heavyweight Championship. As You're well, right. you know, and, and each and every month here, Andrew Palace continues to impress. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, Amateur, nicely that done. Record dropper. He's he's got to try to make the tag here to Flexer. Flexer's fresh, but Starks also needs to make that tag to to keep Palace from making the tag. Oh yeah, definitely. Because uh, Chess Flexer is ready to go. Looks like. Both right. teams going for it. All right, they both got the tag. They're Palace both got, in. There we go. In. Oh! Axe handle. Another one. Uh oh. Oh, oh that pop that fool Nelson. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, rolling him into a oh, pin here. Very impressive. Had the fool Nelson bomb, then Gator rolled him into a cover. Very smart. However, if he would have oh. just rolled right into it, he might have got the three count. There. Oh yeah. Instead of being cocky about it. Ooh, steamroller. Oh. All right. All That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Oh, wow. Second moonsault. What a moonsault. I did not see that one coming. The palace in the right place at the right time there. And that moonsault, uh, well, his Peter knees. Palace. Oh, oh wow. prepare for impact. Right there. Just Flector might be hurt off that moonsault because of both palace. directions knees. Oh, oh palace got him. That could be it. Two. Wow. That is the three count here. I'll tell you what. Flexter might be hurt off, off that moonsault. It looked like... I, that's, <laughs> I mean, Derek Direction is not a small guy. Right. He's a really big guy. To have that much weight come down on you, I mean, Flexer could be hurt. Uh, but we do know that Pro Flex right. are going to get a championship opportunity sometime in the future here. And, and it's well deserved. Absolutely. Oh. What was that? I'm not sure what just happened there, Wes. Shut off. You know, Ginger's happy too, and that's always a good thing. It's nice to see your radiant smile. A very, very, very good opening contest. Both teams were very impressive there. Without a doubt. Well, that's not the only tag team match we'll see tonight. Oh, no. We will actually see the tag team titles defended. Mm-hmm. Here in American Trash rightfully upset over the fact that, that they're not going to get their opportunity. I don't think they have anything to be upset about. That was a really good match. It was really competitive. They had a good showing. Yeah. And, and these Willing fans are all over them now. That's all right. Willing fans certainly don't like them. Mm. Don't forget, folks, we will be this Friday in Newell, West Virginia for Newell Knockout 2. And thank you guys so much for watching us here on BlackDiamondWrestling.com yep. and on YouTube.
With well, a great Gambino coming out, making his way out to the ring, accompanied by Marcus Mann, set to take on Matt Connor. Personally, I think the Black Hand Society is a menace. To society? Or to Black Diamond Wrestling? To Black Diamond okay. Wrestling. Right. A and to society. I mean, well, that's, who that's... do these guys think they are? They come out here each and every month, and they just attack people. They're, they're thugs. I've said it before. That's exactly what they, they are. They do it because they can. They, you know what? They think they're the best, but I, I think there are some other individuals here that are going to show them that they're not. Well, that remains to be seen. But the Black Hand Society, they feel what they do in the ring is art. Their violence is art. And I agree with that. You don't think violent, violence can be art? I, I think it can, but I think they take it too far. Look at Dahmer. Okay, maybe that's taking it too far, but still. That's an example. That's... <laughs> <laughs> that's probably a bit too far. Okay, or OJ. Okay, yeah, that's taking it too far. <laughs> well, Matt Connor has been at the ire of the Black Hand Society for quite a few months here, ever since the formation of the Black Hand Society. Oh, yeah. And Matt, I, I think Matt Connard here is, as he would say, he wants Ty Cross to get hung. Oh, yeah. In this matchup. Uh, he tied, that might happen to Ty Cross if he locks in that hangman's noose. The, hang, the hangman's noose, I mean, there's a lot of guys who have tapped out to that. Oh, yeah. And Matt Connard is one of the best competitors we've had here in Black Diamond Wrestling. And we say it all the time, but he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Chris Hero back in February. Oh, yeah. He's gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Iceman Tony Johnson, come very close to becoming the heavyweight champion. And that's what he's after. That's what he's after. He's after that heavyweight championship. Yeah, but he's not the only one that's after the heavyweight championship. I mean, I've said it before. It's the... Uh, I've said it before that the uh, championship, that is the holy grail of Black Diamond Wrestling. And everybody wants a piece of it. Right, there, there's so many so many guys just that want that title. And that's that's what they should be working for. If you're in any promotion, you should be wanting to be the best. And the symbol of being the best is the heavyweight title. Oh. And two of these men are out oh, there boy. right now. Oh, oh wow! Connor. See, that is just something you don't expect Matt Connard to do, and then he just does it. The size of Matt Connard, you wouldn't think he'd do moves like that. But, right. But he'll come out of nowhere. He'll do anything in his repertoire to make sure that he's on top. I don't think I've ever seen Matt Connard do that. Oh, wow. Matt Connard in control early on here. Oh, yeah. You know, Ty, Ty Cross has been a, on a on a good streak as of late, although he did lose uh, at our last show to Chase Aarons in that over-the-edge Diamond Division title match. Which he will... Connor calling for one more. Oh, you can see Tyler's chest is red right now. Uh, it is beat red. He's Ty only been chopped like hurt. twice. Oh. Wow. Wow. That, that drop kick was with authority. And with so much extension in his legs, too. Well, Matt Connard is a man that should be angry. He should be angry at the Black Hand Society from all the attacks and everything. That, that was a very smart maneuver right there by Ty Cross. Taking the legs out from Matt Connard. I mean, it's simplistic, but it works. And, and that's that's good strategy as well. Yeah. If, if he takes the legs out, Matt Connard's going to have a hard time getting the leverage for yeah. the Hangman's Noose neckbreaker. And, and for the Hangman's Noose itself. And how often do I talk about the leverage of Matt Connard? Uh, that's, Almost that's every single his, match he's in. <laughs> yeah, that's that's one of his greatest strengths. Right. You know, it, it lets him apply more pressure to that hangman's noose. Yep. And that's what gets him the victory a lot of times. Oh, yeah. So Ty Cross very smart in attacking that leg. Yep. But now also going for the head. You know, a lot of a lot of the things Ty Cross does targets the head. All right. He, you know, he does that roaring elbow. Yeah. He does... 
He, he does that barrage of punches. Like, he always mm -hmm. sets up for that big punch. All right. Yeah, Tyler Cross has a very simplistic style, but it's very effective. Ty Cross knows he can go out there and be simplistic. Yeah. Um, he, do, he doesn't need to be fancy. Hey, European uppercut. I mean, look, look oh. at the strikes right there. Yeah. Of Ty Cross. Yeah. But that's, that's all Ty Cross needs. Yeah. At the end of the day, Ty, Ty Cross is a brawler. He'll Plain brawl and simple. maul you. And that's exactly what he's doing to Matt Conant right now. Ty Cross. Oh, boy. Setting him up here. Oh! <laughs> Maybe took a little too much time there. Matt Connor oh. saw that coming. Nice counter from Connor. Connor's a little too smart for him. Oh, wow. And there's those strikes just out of nowhere from Ty Cross. Mm -hmm. Ty Cross going for a pin here. Not quite enough to keep down the Reaper. You know, I've said this, I mean, we, we talk about this all the time. Matt Connor is a legitimate contender for that championship, without a doubt. Oh, absolutely. There, the thing here, though, is that there are so many legitimate contenders oh, yeah. for that title. Like and Edrick Everhart. It, like Edrick Everhart, who will go for that title oh, wow. tonight. This is opportunity. And, you know, well, you want to talk about grave consequences. You want to talk about... Ghosts oh, wow. and goblins. Well, the Black Hand Society has their goblin here tonight, and that's Marcus Mann out there. What are you talking about? Marcus Mann is simply out there just keeping Cross focused on the match. He, that's all he's doing. He's not out there for moral support. Yes, he is. He's there to cheat, just like he did just uh, 30 seconds ago. Cross with those strikes. See, I wouldn't say that Matt Marcus Mann was cheating. It's because he was choking Matt Connor. Now, how many people has Matt Connor choked? You, Marcus, <laughs> come on! You, you got to think Marcus Mann is also just protecting his investment. That's all Marcus he's doing. Mann can protect his investment all he wants, but when it comes down to it, he's a big factor in why the Black Hand Society have gotten as far as they have. I completely agree with you. I do. And it's not just strategy, well, but it works. Connor. Dave. Oh, oh was, look out. I think he was hey. trying to set him up for that spine buster there. And we got a victory, a victory roll out of it. Connor just saw it coming. Oh, Connor There's goes for boy. here. Connor is trying to end this match right now. There it is. Oh, yes. Going for that Arn Anderson style spine buster. Oh. Ty Cross might have him right there. Oh, that was close. That Very was close. close. Very close. He did set him up once before. Connor was able to get out of it the first time, but the second time, he didn't see it coming. Yeah. Uh-oh, Cross Reaper. is saying it's over. Clearly the crowd behind the Reaper here. Well, looks like he was setting up for some sort of DDT right there. But well, he had a front face lock. You, you, you didn't know what he was going to go from there, but... but Connor saw it coming. Took him to the corner. Now it's oh, back wow. and forth. There we go. Great clothesline there and another. Connor's coming back. Connor's still fighting. Wow. Ooh, Went a headbutt. There. Got a nice little uppercut too. Look at that. Oh, wow. Connor in control now. Going for that sunset. That could be it. Oh, wow. Cross with the shoulder up. Connor, wait a minute. Connor what, didn't let go. He's rolling Connor him over. Do, wait, wait, wait. Oh, can't keep him out of the ropes. Not, looks like, like some back and forth, but he got another pin here. Well, Connor had his legs wrapped around, just keeping him. He was just holding him there. Trying to get that second pin, because, you know, sometimes oh. you can surprise. Went for that big booty, missed it. It looks like he. It's almost uh, some shades from Tony there. Yeah. Not quite the idea. Oh, oh. good night. That could have been the knockout blow that right there. That might be it. That could be the end of Ty one, Cross. One, two. Whoa. That was I, close. I don't know how Ty Cross kicked out the of that The referee's hand came down for three. He very close. Say it. <laughs> very, very close. <laughs> was a hell of a kick. Looks like he's he's sizing him I up here. It. Looks like we might be seeing a hangman's noose. 
Ty Cross about to get hung. Well, well, Cross is delirious right now. He doesn't know where the hell he is. <laughs> Would you? No. And there it's it is. Him. It's locked in. Oh, that's it. It's locked. Come, wait, wait, come wait. on. Somebody get Marcus Mann off the. Oh. Come on, ref. Get him off. Wait a minute. Ty Cross tapped out there. That should be the end of this. Did he tap out? He tapped. You didn't see it. Well, the referee Are didn't you see blind? it. Are you blind? The referee didn't see it, so therefore. Oh, I didn't. saw it. Well, I have two who, eyes. Who, who, oh, oh, wow. Come on. Okay, you saw it, but who are you? Did Trevor? you just see him hit him with that bat? That's not legal. Well, I was—I actually didn't see that. I was looking at my notes. But I mean, what happened? He hit him with the bat that well, Ty Cross brings the ringside. And Marcus Mann just pulled off the apron. Oh, that's a DDT. Oh, I did see a, that, though. It's a brutal DDT right there. Man, that's a three count. Ty Cross just stole that victory. Talk about it. Did he cheat him and he pinned him for a three count? Yeah, after Marcus. Did you see that? After Marcus Mann distracted the referee and he attacked him with a with a foreign object. First off, you don't know if that object was foreign or not. It could have been made here in the United States. Is anything Number one. really made in the United States <laughs> anymore, Warren? It's, 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 this is why the Black Hand Society is in the position they're in because no. of their. Unorthodox, unethical tactics. Oh, is that his? Uh, oh, that's horrible. You can't low. take his news. Uh, I guess Matt Connor can't hang that's any people anymore. This is mine now. Oh. Well, it's quite the impressive victory by Tyler Cross, I thought. Hard fought victory. It is. Here comes Sarah. Um. Well then. <laughs> well, guys, uh, we're getting ready here for our, our women's match. Well, we we have. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, our next match is performed. Once more, it is a triple threat match. Well, everybody, we're gonna have a triple threat match here. But Sarah Feeney's already in the ring. Okay, there we go. Well, Serafini has certainly been dominant here in our burgeoning women's division here at Black Diamond Wrestling. Yeah. Serafini currently holds two women's titles from some other companies yeah. uh, on the independent scene of professional wrestling. So Serafini could easily be a, be the top contender for a Black Diamond Wrestling Women's title were we to introduce one. I would like that. I talked about it last show. I'm, I'm really excited about the fact that we have a, a women's division in Black Diamond Wrestling. Hey, it, it's about time. It's, it's it no is. longer a man's world here in Black Diamond Wrestling. It's no longer a man's world. <laughs> Please don't sing. That. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry, I want to do it again. Alright, where comes uh Here comes Madison. Wow. Man, this is gonna be her Diamond Plex debut here. Oh, yeah. First time we're seeing here at the Wheeling Eagles. The place we dubbed the Diamond Plex. But we have seen Madison in action for Black Diamond before. Yeah. Uh, facing off against Serafini. Oh, yeah. And coming up a little bit short. Like I said, Feeney's been very dominant here in our women's matches so far in Black Diamond. Feeney scares me, okay? And, and I'm a fearless man. You're not a fearless man. But Feeney scares the hell out of me. Seriously. <laughs> I, I, there's something about her presence that, that really... Uh, I mean, I certainly wouldn't mess with her. She's very intimidating. I, I would agree with you. And I would say the uh, popular favorite in this match, if oh, I doubt. Absolutely. Mor Morgan is completely the popular one here. Uh, she'll, we'll see her later tonight oh, as yeah. well in the tag title match. She actually manages the Knight Riders, who are the she number does. one contenders going into tonight. So she'll be working double duty tonight. Yes, she will. And, and wait, what did I say? I yeah. told you. The crowd here just loves... 
Morgan Rockefeller. It how could you not? Lot. You're right. How could you not like Morgan Rockefeller? Now all the women in the ring are absolutely are absolutely beautiful, but they're no ginger. <laughs> okay. I knew, I knew you were gonna say that. Warren. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm, I'm keeping it real. I keeps it real at the there's, table. There's That's a what restraining I do. order for a reason. Okay. <laughs> there's a reason you can't go in the locker room. Okay. Well, the bell has sounded here. Oh, Sarah Feeney jaw jacking with the fans. I don't know. That's not smart. You got two women here. This. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> well, Fe Feeney's not making any friends here. And yeah, Feeney's just making this a handicap match, which that's not really good. It's a triple threat. Uh, that's probably some bad strategy right there from Sarah Feeney. Oh, yeah. Especially when she's been so dominant in this division. To have both women gunning for oh, her in this her match face. already, she just made it worse for herself. But she really did. Okay, now. All right, okay, well, let's go at it now, girls. Come it's, on. It's now. It's a it's triple now, threat match. Now turned into a one-on-one -on -one match with Serafini on the outside. No, she's Between got Morgan. her face caved, it, caved in. You, you can't say she didn't deserve it a little bit, Warren. Yeah, well. She was... Oh, nice technical ability from Madison there. Working on the arm of Morgan. Well, you know what? This actually, this right here works to Feeney's uh, advantage right now. She, she's getting a little bit of a rest here. Yeah, yeah. You're right. But you know what? If Morgan is able to sneak out a win or Madison real quick, I mean, that could be an easy disadvantage for her as well. Oh, yeah. But the thing here is, is Morgan clearly has the advantage over Madison just because Morgan has a lot more experience. Yeah. Madison's still very new mm -hmm. uh, in the wrestling business here. But she's shown a lot of a lot of fire so far. Yeah. Well, Madison can go, no doubt about that. Absolutely. Both women tying back up here. Both showing a lot of technical ability here. And Morgan may be experienced here. But who's? But I would have to say that Feeney is the most experienced in this match. I I don't know if I'd agree with that one, Warren. I mean, Morgan's just simply been around long. Oh. Oh. Smart by Feeney, oh, pulling Morgan oh, out. Wow. Look at Feeney attacking. She is laying those shots in, and the, she's just brutal. Hanging Madison up as well. Some brutal shots. Oh! Oh, come on! That was unnecessary. You can't do that to... to well, I guess she just did. <laughs> wow. Well, oh, Feeney now in control in this match. This is why Feeney scares me. Oh. Snapmare. Now with the chin lock on Madison. And she's taunting Morgan at the same time. That's what I'm talking about. I, you know what? I, I gotta say it. I think Serafini has an attitude problem. I'd like to hear you say that. I'd like to. Why don't you say that to her face? I'll, I'll tell like her that she said it, Warren. <laughs> I'd rather you did. Serafini taking control here. Oh wow! Come on. You got Feeney, uh, I guess, trying to give vocabulary lessons to the fans. I, I really don't know what she's doing. Maybe what? she should be worried more about Madison yeah. giving lessons. Madison with a sunset, oh, that wow. could be it. Almost out of nowhere, only a one count, really. And even when Feeney countered it, she she you know put her legs together and crushed Madison's skull getting out of that pinning predicament. Very smart move there. Looks like she's going for that patented fisherman. Oh, that, that's that's oh, wow. going to be it. Morgan able to break up that bridge there. Hey, if she would not have broken up that bridge, that, that would have been it. Oh, without a doubt. Oh, for oh nice Russian leg sweep from Morgan. That could be it. Madison smartly pulling her off the pin here. Now, why is Morgan getting upset? This is a triple threat match, honey. What, what, what do you expect? Yeah, that, that was very smart from Madison. 
trying to keep this match alive. Trying to keep her chances of winning there. Both nice. these women. Ping pong. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, nice nice neckbreaker. Neck breaker. Wow. All right. <laughs> And then you got uh, Morgan pulls her off. You gotta, you gotta pay attention. Morgan. <laughs> hey, you gotta pay attention to that third oh, person wow. in that ring. Splash, splash. right there. And Feeney, Feeney kicked, kicked out. out. Yeah. And that was before Madison, Madison can even break it up. But it would have been close. Yeah. Would have been close. I think. I think Madison still would have got there in time. Uh -oh. Madison. Got a fireman's carry. Oh. oh! Was that intentional? I, I, I guess know. it doesn't I, matter. It's it a simple like threat match, but Feeney. Feeney rolling her up. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that's a three count. Come on. That is a three count. Feeney is the winner here. Feeney, Feeney obviously had the ropes there, Warren. I, you know what? Maybe she did have the ropes, but as I said before, she scares me. So I'm just going to say, hey, Feeney won that fair and square. Listen. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell her she had the ropes. I, oh, whoa, what is Morgan? Hey! Morgan not happy about it. Neither is Madison. Jason Feeney back into the back there. All right. All right, well. Sarah Feeney continues to be on a winning streak here in Black Diamond. Is she undefeated? Uh, she's undefeated so far, yeah. All right, well. Yeah. Um, and don't forget, everybody, this Friday oh, yeah. in Newell, West Virginia, we will be back there uh, October 17th at 7 p.m. for Newell Knockout 2 uh, featuring uh, the Black Diamond Wrestling Tag Title Match. Uh, whoever the champions are, if it's still the Chaos, Angels of Chaos, taking on the Headless Horseman. I guess they really like Josh's suits. Hey, he's a sna snazzy dresser, right? I, I, I guess. He's got style. He has swag, <laughs> if you will. Do we really need to use that term, Warren? Why not? I mean... Uh, looks like we might be seeing the return of Jay Flash right now. What? Ah! Wait a minute. Right now? Is he is he ready to go? I mean, this is so soon after his injury. I, I don't know if. Uh... I mean, he seemed ready to go last last show at No Boundaries. Just yeah. two weeks ago. Yeah, but he. Yeah, well. I mean, it has been six months since he's actively competed in the ring, so right. it's. It's tough to say whether Jay Flash really is ready or not. I, well, only Jay Flash knows his own body. You're right. You know what I'm saying? So, if he's it, I gotta say he looks ready to me. He looks ready, but is he? That's that's the question. Of the looks night. can is be he, deceiving. I mean, we know he's gonna be action in action. We don't know what what exact who his opponent's gonna be. Anything like that. I. You gotta, you gotta admire Flash's ability to control the crowd. You gotta admire that. He has this crowd in the palm of the his hand. The crowd loves Jay Flash. Oh yeah. I mean, 
mean, he's an exciting competitor to watch. He so is. What's not to love about Jay Flash? Is Josh Shield in the Flash Zone? I, I, I think he's tried to be in the Flash Zone. But. Oh. Who's going to step in the flash zone? Who's going to want to step in the flash zone? I mean, obviously, obviously someone who, who's going to want the opportunity. I mean, if you beat Jay Flat. This is, uh, is this some Gavin new Jacobs? music. And, a different sort of video for yeah it's a weird yeah, what happened to the patriotic and the flags and I, I don't know I mean well, I'm gonna uh, use my awesome phone and sound hound the songs I want to know what the song is I mean I, I Gavin Jacobs at, at the end at the end of his match at no boundaries he threw the American flag back into the ring I mean that is something I noticed. And, and if you if you notice now, he doesn't have the American flag. I wonder why. It's been a staple of his for so long now. But certainly anyone going up against Jay Flash is, is going to get a reaction like this. Yeah, but I mean, I've never heard Gavin uh, this type of reception for Gavin Jacobs before. I, I haven't either. I mean, Gavin Jacobs has always been beloved here in the Diamond Plex, and I mean, you can e you can almost see in his face a change of attitude. Oh, yeah. I, I don't really know what to make of this. But Gavin Jacobs, this is a big opportunity for him. Oh yeah. I mean, you got to believe whoever wins this match is going to be in that hunt for the heavyweight championship. Oh yeah, because Jay Flash has already made his claim. He, he he wants it. He wants that that championship. Here we go. His match is underway. Well, uh, Gavin Jacobs taking on Jay Flash in his return. It's been a long time since we've seen that cannonball. Oh yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, but that cannonball is what uh, is how he got injured. Uh, so you got to right, think: uh, is he going to go for that again? Or it, or if he does go for it, is he going to have second thoughts? Maybe he'll think about it too long on that top rope, and and that could be his downfall. All uh, it takes is a second. You, if you, you hesitate know, for a second, you could be lost forever. Now, now, if you look in the ring here, both men, you know, we, we know Gavin Jacobs is strong. Oh yeah, he, he's always been a strong individual. But Jay Flash is oh. keeping up with him, you know. Jay Flash may be kind of a smaller guy, but but Jay Flash is also a little deceptively strong. Oh, he doesn't have hair, but he has a beard. Well, Flash isn't looking to play games yes, here. Yes, 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 yes. Grabbing. Is that legal? Can you I, actually I, grab somebody by the beard? I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I know the hair is illegal. But the beard, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess technically that would be hair. Okay. Right? No. So, Jay Flash taking down, using, using his technical ability. We don't always see Jay use his technical skills here, but... I think Jay is switching up his style. Wow! Going for the pin here. Very quick to start off. But that, that's Jay Flash's advantage right there is the quickness. He going for, it looks like he was going for a sharpshooter of some sort, or some sort of submission maneuver. Yeah, some, some sort of submission hold there. It may very well have been a sharpshooter. You know, figure four, spinning toe hold, clover leaf, you know, whatever. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of good moves <laughs> that you can apply for that position. Oh, yes. Jay Flash. Ooh. Irish whip. Oh, leapfrog so by Jay Flash. Here. Gavin just sending Flash out of the ring. Using his brain oh. there. Watch out. But he should have stayed, he should have paid attention to his opponent. That was a brutal chop right there. Oh, he's, oh. oh the second one was worse. You know what? When when the chop thuds, that's always the worst kind of chop. Oh, when yeah. it thuds. You're right about that. Oh. 
Okay. So who wants to hit Gavin Jacobs today? What are you, this? This is not right. What, what, is, what, is, what is happening here? Oh! Give that man a seat back. All right. Come on. Oh, oh wow. Moth Gavin oh, he Jacobs missed it. He missed it. There. Oh, he missed it. Very smart move from Gavin Jacobs. Dodging out of the way of that kick. He saw it coming. Oh, maybe yeah. I think Jay Flash just had a little too much setup there. And Jay Flash is maybe having a little bit too much fun right now. And You're oh, right, what that, the that, hell that, is he doing? Is he going to power or pile driver? A pile driver, driver on the apron? On. No! That could Man, that could have sent Jay Flash back on the injury list already. Oh! oh. Both men, some back and forth. Oh! Jacob's going right down. I've seen some pretty sick concepts, but I've never seen that. That's, this match is intense. Oh, oh my God! This is man. You know what? Listen, I like Jay Flash just as much as the next guy, but I think he's having way too much fun right now. You might be right about that. He just did a suicide dive and then just took a seat right next to a fan. I mean, that could cost him. You need to stay on someone like Gavin Jacobs. You know, I know he hasn't been in the ring for a long time, but All right. There, you're right. He might be having too much fun in there. And, and Gavin Jacobs is not. no dummy. He's a smart, no, he's not. smart competitor. Using Whoa. referee Potter to oh wow. Well, Jay Flash moved the referee out of position there. Some smart maneuver right there, Gavin Jacobs. I just can't believe who would think to power drive someone. Or there's a cover. Who, who would attempt a power driver on the apron? The apron is one of the hardest parts of the ring. Uh, it, it's the hardest part of I the mean, ring, you, other, you, other than the post. <laughs> right. I mean, let's, he, he was ready to put Jay, put Jay Flash back out of action. Yeah. That's what would have happened had he hit that move. There is definitely a change in Gavin Jacobs. That, uh, uh, you, can, you can tell. You can tell. Gavin Jacobs has a complete change of attitude here. Gavin Jacobs... That power slam. I don't know. He, he didn't quite get all of that cover. Yeah, he should have uh, at least put body on body there. Yeah, Lateral he, he press. needs a little bit more pressure you can't just, on that. Uh, but Gavin Jacobs in control here. You gotta wonder about the ring conditioning of Jay Flash because he hasn't been in the ring in six months. You're right. And I mean that that was a smart maneuver. Gavin Jacobs trying to keep him grounded. You want to keep a man like Jay Flash grounded. Oh, yeah. Jay Flash certainly has the speed advantage. Yeah, but that speed's been neutralized, at least right now. Gavin taking him into the corner there. Mm. Several stomps from Gavin Jacobs. Wearing him down. Gavin setting him up in the corner here. Oh, he's going after that ankle. He's going after that hurt ankle. What? Oh, wait a minute. He, he does have a metal plate in that ankle. That, that probably oh. was not the smartest maneuver. Oh, 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 man. Well, I, that may come back to hurt him. He, he thought that, that ankle would be the weak point, but it's actually probably stronger than ever. Yeah. That metal plate in there. Imagine getting kicked with it. <laughs> Probably hurts a lot more. Especially considering that Gavin Jacobs has been kicked in the stomach like at least eight times. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's that's a little uncharacteristic of Jay Flash too. I mean, Jay Flash is a, a little intense here. I mean, it is his first night back. Uh oh! Oh! oh, oh. oh, oh. Nice power bomb. Very think, close to it. I think count. Flash was attempting a Hurricane Rana. Yeah, Gavin Jacobs saw that one coming. <laughs> had the counter. I mean, he almost just stole that win right there. Yeah. I mean, you, you got to think whoever wins this match is going to be almost to the top of the line for a heavyweight oh, title yeah. shot. I mean, they might have to go, to, you know, through a couple more guys, but they're de they definitely make their way up the ladder. But if you can knock off Jay Flash in his return match, that says a lot. It does. Oh, slap from Flash. Oh. Both men. Fighting back and forth. No. Uh oh. Oh. Flash just wow. 
running him. Flash going off. Oh, oh he went for it. I think he went for a curb stomp. So, something, yeah. Gavin pushing him into the corner. We got Leo. Oh, Jack Flash oh. has momentum. He's, he's got that momentum going now. Oh, he's following. Exactly position. Oh. Gavin Jacobs with a smart maneuver. He has a quick, a quick first step. Putting the brakes on, uh -oh. so to speak. Oh, oh. and suplex. Ooh. Almost a three there. That German out of nowhere almost caught Gavin off guard enough to, to get him counted down. Oh, yeah. This may be that ring edition and coming back to hurt Jay Flash. You're, you're right about that. I, I mean, like you said, uh, he hasn't been in the ring for six months. It's, right. It's tough to just get back into ring shape. It's not oh. easy. Oh, Jay oh, Flash. Look out. I, think, I think he was going for the flash drive there, but he... That is not going to happen. No, oh, final the, destination. He, no. Counted out of it. Another... Boy, Kevin. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Spinebuster. And we know what's next. Is he going to. Uh oh. I think he's, he's called for it. I mean, we, we said uh -oh. there might be some hesitation. He hit that Spinebuster. Usually the cannonball follows. Now you heard it. No, I, he, he's calling for it, but. I think there is some I, hesitation. There, there's definitely hesitation oh, here. Oh, there is. Jay, I mean, that's that's why he was out for six months, that cannonball. What is he doing? So, so, I, so no cannonball. He is the spine buster. Did not go he probably, oh, wait a minute. Gavin Jacobs. Oh! Destination. That's, that's actually a new variation. He calls that the Colt driver. Oh. And no one has kicked out of that variation before. Jay Flash being the first. I, I thought that was it. Yeah. But it, I, you almost have to be worried about Jay Flash. I mean, that hesitation could have just cost him. I told you that. If match. you hesitate, it could hurt you. It could cost you. And it may have just cost Jay Flash, oh. even though he kicked out of that maneuver. Maybe Gavin's trying to use that to his advantage, taking him up top here. Oh, yeah. Oh boy, Jay here we Flash go. Probably, well, he, he's definitely more than apprehensive. Oh yeah. About being up there. As he should be. But he, he's countering Gavin Jacobs. Gavin going for a superplex here. Oh no. Oh man. Jay Flash. I don't know what's gonna. Oh, the agility Gavin. of Gavin Jacobs. Oh. The well, uncanny seen, ability. We've seen Gavin hit a moonsault many times. It's, All right, we always talk about. There. We always talk about the strength of Gavin Jacobs, but we often forget his agility. Going to fight here on the top, yes, top of these ropes. Oh, that's no man's land. This is no man's land. Oh, he's, wait a minute! If you're gonna do it, do it. If you're gonna do, oh, wow! Gavin Jacobs using the referee to knock Jay Flash down. That's twice that Flash hesitated. I'm telling you, man. If you're gonna get up there, you better do it while you have the opportunity. That's, that's a big mistake there. Oh, yeah. Big mistake. It, it, it's a mistake that he's made twice. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's the oh, definition no. of insanity oh, no. right oh, there. Oh, no. Oh, God. Jay Flash. Not a power bomb. Oh, Gavin. Oh, he caught him with the knee. Almost didn't catch that. Uh, a modified uh, GTS? Yeah. Modified GTS. That, that's a modified yeah. version of the... Yeah, the it's, uh, it's not quite the same, but yeah. It's, well, you know, you got the GTS goes from a uh, fireman's carry into the knee. Right. That was a power bomb into the knee. Oh, it's going oh. for final. Gavin Jacobs. Oh, he, he was going for that driver again. Oh, flash That's drive. Oh, flash drive. That could be it. That's it. He caught him.
tell you what, I was very impressed with that, that GTS-like maneuver. What a return for Shane Black. Definitely. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Now, this is what, in the business, we call this a receipt, okay? That's exactly what this is. It's a receipt. He doesn't need a receipt. Yes, he does. You saw what Jay Flash did last show. And look, Gavin Jacobs is just walking out before he would have stayed in fight. Did you see what he just did? Come on. This is Someone not his fight. To... This is not. Where, where's Matt Connor? Where's Tony Johnson? Okay. Where are they at? Where are they? They're not here. You know, we know they're in the building. They're not here helping Jay Flash out. Well. This is ridiculous. Jay Flash just this wrestled. This is a receipt. He just wrestled a match with Gavin Jacobs. Yeah. And what did Jay Flash Jacobs do? Is a tough opponent. Jay Flash returned last week and attacked these guys. Did he not? But did he? I, I, did he not? Now this is a receipt. Jay Flash, uh, he may be getting what he deserves here. This is not what. Jay According Flash to them. I, I mean, you're right. According to them, that's that, that's oh, probably boy. their mentality. But look at the strength of Jack Pollock just running around the ring, almost in laps. This is ridiculous. That's what happens, man. That's what happens. And now, now Edric going up to that second. Oh line. yes. Uh, you know what he's gonna do here. You know what he's gonna do. He's going for that fist drop. Did you hear that? Heroes are meant to die. Well, it looks like they're they're not taking kindly to the fact that Jay Flash is everyone's hero here in Black Diamond. Well, it seems like the black hand are done with Jay Flash right now. Just leaving him laying here. Oh, well, welcome back, Jay Flash. Like I said, there you go. wonder where Matt Connor is. Where's, where's? I mean, well, not Con that I would expect him to come out, but Chris LaRusso. I mean, well, he's been attacked multiple you know, times by the Black Hand Society. But it, none of those guys. Chris LaRusso's smart. He's not going to get beat up again. That's but why he's not you, coming you out. You would think with, with as much character that Tony Johnson has that he would come out to help Jay Flash. But Tony Johnson has so many other things to worry about. He has a title defense tonight. Did you think about that? Yeah, I mean, you're right, but... Oh, well, well, Jay Flash just killed the entire referee staff. <laughs> Jay Flash... <laughs> Jay Flash obviously upset. Hey, he probably didn't realize they were referees. They, he probably thought the Blackhead were gonna still, still attacking him. Right? Oh yeah. Well, probably exactly what it was. Well, Jay Flash leaving here of his own accord, but who knows what actual damage that did? Well, he could have done some actual damage. You never know. Obviously, he's gonna need to get checked out after that. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody, and don't forget this Friday, we will be back in Newell, West Virginia for Newell Knockout 2, uh, featuring a Black Diamond Wrestling tag team title match, and as well as the women of Black Diamond Wrestling. And we're going to go to our brief intermission here. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and, and stay tuned for the rest of Grave Consequences, including our Buried Alive match. Yeah, that's going to be good. Also, the ladder match, too, as well. You're right. A lot of you people might be wondering what No! Oh my god! No! 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 Oh my god! Oh! He hit him with a chip! Come on! That was smart! Would you want bulldozer diving on you like that? Oh, come on now! He... Oh my god! Wow! He's brutally assaulting Bulldozer with that chair. My God! Hey. Oh yes. my God! Oh, hey, my, that is a cross come face. on! He's got him. At, this is just ridiculous. That's a cross face. Somebody get some officials out here. Well, that's one concerto. This is sick. Come on! Come on! Stop him! Get the pull the chair from him! Come on! Do something! Oh my God! God oh my. Come on! Someone needs to come out here and help Bulldozer. Who? Anyone. Who, who 
anyone with what, with any decency what, back Tupac? There. Yeah, maybe Tupac. Tupac gonna come out of here? Any? The unlast oh, man. Here comes Tupac. Oh. Well, you're too late. Dustin Vane saying he's not just a pretty face. Is Dustin Vane a threat now? Those are tracks. A lot of you people might be wondering what a guy like me, Destin Vane, is doing out here in the middle of these deep woods. Well, I'll explain that in a second. But first, it's been bothering me that you people have the audacity to say that the reason why I injured Bulldozer was because I am afraid of him. I'm out here to prove just how unafraid a bulldozer I am. Because when I ripped that mask right here off a bulldozer's face, let me show you what I saw. So I saw something that you people didn't. Brace yourselves. This is ugly. This is the face of bulldozer right here. Now, I've done some research, some studying on how to lure this type out. I have it on good authority that this location right here is where Bulldozer likes to roam. So this first trick I'm going to use is called the wood knocking. A lot of Sam Squamshes and creatures of that nature respond pretty well to this trick. I think I hear something up ahead. For another trick, I'm gonna have my boy Bobo work his magic. Bobo, hey maestro, work those pipes. There he is, there he is. Please Dustin Vane, leave me alone. Bulldozer! Bulldozer, come back! Just wanted to give your mask back. I'm trying to be a good guy. Darn it, you got away. No, I've proven my dominance over Bulldozer. I ended his wrestling career. Anybody in the wrestling world who has the insecurities where they have to wear a mask to wrestle, they don't have what it takes to get in the ring with somebody like me, Destin Vane. And that is why I am now issuing the Destin Vane Worldwide Masked Wrestlers Open Invitational, where I will take on anybody around the world who feels the need to wear a mask when they wrestle. And I will beat them. Like. 